checking something off my bucket list today. We are taking the sleeper train from London to Inverness. We're doing a little Scottish road trip. We're taking the train all the way to the north in Inverness, and then we're gonna drive all the way. Good evening. Thank you. And then we're gonna drive all the way down along the coast. We're gonna hit several Outlander filming locations, and then we're going to spend a couple days in Edinburgh. So it's gonna be really, really fun. I'm excited. We're at Euston Station right now. That is where the train leaves from. We're gonna go to the lounge because the carriage that we are sleeping in tonight also gives you access to the lounge. It wasn't even the nicest option. It was like the middle option, but turns out it gives you lounge access. So we're gonna go check that out and fingers crossed for sleeping. There is a little window and a sink under that, and there is a toilet and even a shower. There's a shower. You can't see the shower head. And then under the sink, there is like a shelf that comes out. We have the two twin beds, and that is literally it. <laughs> We're going to the carriage that has the bar in it for a little Bon Voyage cocktail. It's a part of being in the club carriage, right? We have a club twin. these corridors while the train's moving and you've had a glass of wine. This is not the cutest, most professional angle. <laughs> there is literally nowhere else to face the light in here that, like there's no, there's nothing to put the, the camera on. So this is the angle that we have. I'm trying to talk kind of quietly because I heard that the walls are really thin. And the last thing I need is to be spoken to by a member of staff because my vlogging is too loud. But everything so far has been a dream come true. Exceeded expectations. We got on the train, dropped our stuff off in our carriage, in our room in the carriage. And it is way smaller. It's like you know it's going to be small, but it's even smaller <laughs> than the small that you know it's going to be. But it's also like a design engineering marvel like you have everything you need there's a shower there's a toilet two beds a sink a table so we got the club twin room we have two twins bunk bunk beds you can also get a, a club double which is like a double bed flat together it also has like an ensuite bathroom with a shower and a toilet or you can get just the twin room which has the bunks but no no bathroom no shower no toilet i'm really glad we got the club twin like it's nice just having your own bathroom that isn't shared and the club twin like if you get the club twin or the club double you get to go to the club car which is where we went for a glass of wine as we were departing from the station additionally you can go to the club car in the morning for breakfast a friend of mine actually she was an elizabeth heishkins co client of mine she and now we're friends that's how we met though she used to take the sleeper train from inverness to london all the time for work she's really cool she works on like apple tv projects it's really impressive but i saw her instagram stories always taking the sleeper train and i was like oh my gosh that looks so cool added it to my bu bucket list now i'm doing it before i left to come here she messaged me all of these tips for the sleeper train and every single one has been gold so i want to share them with you and just a little bit more of the experience one of her tips was i didn't even know that this was a thing is that if you have a club room you can go to the lounge at the train station which was cool not necessary but it was nice like we are leon in the in the station um got a free pepsi max like you know it's nice vibes it's cool it's, a, it's worked into the price of your ticket so just a little perk she also suggested getting to the station as soon as possible our train started boarding at 8 30 we got to the station at like 7 45 and hung out in the lounge for a little while boarded boarded the train probably like got on the train at like 8 40 or something like that like 10 minutes after boarding started and it was nice we dropped off our stuff 
I got lots of content of the room and then we went to the club car for a glass of wine and that was really really nice it feels really fancy walking to I mean it's not fancy walking to the club car because the corridor is so extremely small but the club car itself is really cool and that was the third tip to go straight to the club car because it can fill up quickly and if they're full they'll like ask you to come back later but something that I've noticed is most people stayed in the club car for like two hours as did we we got a glass of wine and just stayed there for two hours so a part of me wonders if the club car really clears up at all so definitely as soon as you get onto the train just go right to the club car we went to the club car before the train even left the station and it was nice though because there's lots of windows in the club car so you can see like the scenery moving and like you can see when you're leaving the station and it's fun we had a couple glasses of Malbec in the club car and just chatted spent two hours there probably got there around like i don't know 15 like a quarter to nine or something like that and we only just got back to the room and it's 11 p.m now so had like a nice two hours just chatting watching the seat watching the sunset watching the scenery go by and just really like seeing the beginning of this adventure like just do the club car like you we paid like it's not free like we paid for our wine it was like 11 pounds of you know a glass or whatever so like not a big deal but um not free you have to pay for it but again it's like you're paying for the whole experience so you might as well go and have that experience as well when the train was leaving the station i involuntarily proclaimed to the whole club car like oh my gosh we're moving <laughs> and i didn't realize how loudly I was doing that and there was a man sitting at our table like they put two couples at one table together and he was laughing at me at first I was like oh he's like totally making fun of me but then he said something along the lines of like it doesn't matter how many times you say take the sleeper train it's always magical or it's always thrilling or it's always exciting and that made me feel a lot better because like yes he was laughing at me but he understood why I was excited instead of just like making <laughs> making fun of me and so that was really nice and I told him it was my first time on the sleeper train and I was excited anyway it was a cute like bon voyage moment the fourth tip is that the train can be quite loud and the walls are really thin but they do give you an eye mask and earplugs I have mine right here but obviously you can hear like is a train so you can hear the train it's making train sounds as you go and um, if people walk by or, or are watching something in their room or something like that you would definitely be able to hear it or if some crazy girl is just like vlogging the whole thing you would definitely be able to hear it if it was loud enough i will say thin walls notwithstanding the details of the train are impeccable like, look at this look at how beautiful this is every detail of the train is so beautiful it's like really beautifully designed it feels really luxurious at least in this car that like this carriage that we're in the club tw twin double section i don't know what the the seats are like because you can get a club double club twin twin or just a seat my prayers are with everyone who's just sitting in a seat all night that sounds absolutely terrible but you got to do what you got to do um I can't speak to, to those carriages, but like this one is so, so nice. Final tips, Lindsay advised that I wake up as early as possible to watch the sunrise in the highlands. The sun is rising really early, like way earlier than I'm gonna wake up, but I'm but if my I just wake up naturally or whatever, like at 5 a.m. I'm getting out of this bunk and I'm gonna open the window and I'm gonna look out and see what is to see. But definitely the her tip was to wake up as early as possible and just watch the beautiful, like highlands pass you by as you're as you're while well, venturing into them along those lines she also recommended like going to the club car for breakfast so i'm really excited for that we actually already put in our breakfast order when we were sitting in the club car a woman came and took our order they usually have like ordering cards in your in your room um but for whatever reason they just don't have those right now so i think usually you can fill out your order on a card and hang it on your door and then they'll know whether you come into the into the club car or you want to eat it in your room. I want to eat it in the club car because that feels hella fancy. We've just stopped right now. Do you know why we would have stopped? Might be an actual stop. I think the train goes by places like Crew and... Oh, cool. It's like a real train. Yeah, more like where we are. Okay. We're in Stafford. Might have stopped in Stafford, actually. Cool. So you think people just buy, like, seated? Like, they just buy the seats? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is cool.
We're like on a real operating train, but we're sleeping on it. It's our home tonight. Last thoughts before I fall asleep. This bed is wildly ridiculous. Like the mattress is very comfortable. It's like laying on a cloud. This like duvet is really soft. Pillows are impeccable. I feel so cozy in my little bunk. I think I'm gonna sleep so, so well. Also the rocking of the train, I think it's gonna rock me like a little baby to sleep. Is this gonna be the best sleep of my life? I'll let you know. I'm anticipating that it will be. Highlands. I woke up this morning to the most beautiful view of fog and green and babbling creeks and it was absolutely, in a word, magical. Last night I anticipated to sleep so well, had a glass of wine, was already tired, bed was so cozy, the train was rocking me to sleep. I was like, I'm going to be out like a light. I woke up every hour. <laughs> I woke up every single hour. We did lots of stops throughout the night. I feel like we did one an hour and then I woke up for every single one. So did not sleep well, woke up extremely tired, but then the beautiful view in the morning definitely jolted me awake. We went for our breakfast in the club car. We had these really delicious salmon. I can't remember what they call them, but it was like salmon with potato and maybe eggs and then a hollandaise sauce over top. It was absolutely delicious. And I think eating salmon and in Scotland is just so very appropriate. It was really good. Had some juice, had some coffee, had beautiful views. I was telling Tom today, I'm, I feel like every time I take the sleeper train, which I guess I'm just manifesting, I'm gonna do it again in the future, I would always spring for club. Because if you don't have club, if you don't have like the club twin or club double, you don't have anywhere else to go besides your room. And if you don't have anywhere else to go besides your room, you don't have anywhere else to go besides your bed. So it's like, as soon as you get on the train, you go to your bed, you sleep in it, you stay there <laughs> and that's it. So being in club definitely makes it a whole experience where you have another room to go and hang out in, whether it's in the evening and or in the morning as well. We are about 20 minutes, I think, from the station in Inverness gotten dressed. I'm wearing my Cezanne sweater, my Trades of Hope jewelry, and I'm ready for the day. We're going to get our rental car, head to Culloden Battlefield because I'm an Outlander girly, so I wanted to go see the real battlefield for itself. Um, we have tickets for a tour, so I'm excited to get a little history, a little history nerd. And then we are going to drive to Lossy Mouth, that whole the whole area we're going to stop in multiple area mul multiple places in that area that's where tom grew up and do a little road trip there today and then we'll go on the next day drive to balmoral the following day we'll hit up outlander filming locations and do you want to come out now yeah. okay i'm gonna let you out of the shower <laughs> I, had to, I had to stop recording to let tom out of the shower bathroom closet um because there was no way to not get him in the in the shot because it's so small in here um so i was just saying out, outlander filming locations and then we'll spend a couple days in edinburgh we just pulled into the station at inverness right are we sure mm -hmm. um which is crazy the inverness depot okay the inverness depot <laughs> i don't know what that means might be one one more stop. oh like another okay it is about 10 minutes before I thought we were going to. I almost said land because I'm used to traveling in, in an airplane, but um, it is 10 minutes earlier than I thought we were going to arrive. We're ahead of schedule, I guess. We're just gonna have to pack everything up and head off the train. Honestly, I think step one is getting another coffee because I'm exhausted. 
another coffee before we get in the car. Bye, room. Ah. I'm the gap. We're here in Inverness. I was kind of sad to leave our room like saying goodbye it was like kind of sad it was like i feel like we've been through something it was such a moment we had such an experience together tom was like i'm just happy to be in <laughs> in a, a spacious open area um but in in inverness i'm actually i don't need the scarf probably don't even need my coat it's a really beautiful day blue skies are trying their hardest to break through the clouds and it is it's like a little warm it's like just room temperature right now saying goodbye to the Caledonian sleeper. It was so good to us. I highly recommend this experience. I would do it again. <laughs>